What's up, guys? My name is Potato, and welcome back to my hardcore. Uh, when I, well, we left off at our pretty awesome cow farm here, but the thing that I realized with the cows is that the babies here, um, when I logged in and out, uh, they kind of popped out and they ran up the stairs and stuff like that, and I think it's because they're hanging out up on top of this block. And when you log in, um, they kind of just go straight through it because they're, they're basically being pushed through here the whole time. So what I think I'm going to do is just get rid of these water flows um, inside of here. So, um, well, that one died. How did that one die? I don't know, but I'm going to kill these guys or these babies. And um, basically, we're going to get rid of the two water flows here because uh, I don't want them to... Um, be pushed into this gate anymore it doesn't matter if they roam free around here um to me anyways because uh either way they're still gonna die i just need them to grow up and not glitch through so um i did just breed them uh right before i started recording oh wow okay so they're they're ready to go again because they okay so we'll just um we'll let them live and they'll just hang out down there and um be merry uh, for the most part, anyways. Uh, we're going to create two more buildings for the other two farms. I'm going to probably keep both of them um, still uh, manual because it's, I, I'm just, I don't want to get into redstone. I think there is some, some, um, some charm to having a farm that's, uh, that's all manual. Uh, so anyways, we're going to get to that. I'm just going to double check on these babies, that's all. Okay. <laughs> Man, he really tried to get out of there. So uh, we need two more. Three more, technically, if you count the chickens. Uh, the chickens will be something similar to the water stuff. They're basically just going to be in um, like a pool. And it's going to just drop the eggs down. And that'll be it. Wow, two, two shots didn't kill him, huh? Is this... Uh, all right, this sword doesn't have sharpness. That's what it's missing. It's missing sharpness. So it's... Uh, whoop. Fill in this hole again since we uh, we no longer have the redstone or the failed redstone in there, and uh, get our other farms going. So probably probably gonna leave these open and then we'll separate them by what do you what do you guys think? Three? Three sounds good. Um, cause I don't they don't need to be too far apart. They don't need to be too close together, and uh, three just kind of works. So this is um I'm gonna try to make them all the same size too. One two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in between, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bam. Then we'll have three, and then that'll be the next farm. That way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so here's the the next uh, question. Should I take that farm down a level to match this this level down here, right here? Or should I keep it the same level and just extend this path out? Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe bring this back and bring it down a level to kind of kind of give it some more character, so they're not you know all on the same level and all of that stuff. I'll do it right between both of them, so um, we can uh, make it look good. I'm using this instead of my shovel because my shovel has fortune on it and it just rips through gravel and always gives me flint. And uh, I don't want I don't want flint. I do not need as much flint as I have until I start making arrows. So we're going to take it down to this level right there. Fill it in with some gravel just so we have a placeholder. There we go. And do that one too, why not? That's good, up until the end of the farm. So that's going to be there. And my shovel is definitely gonna break because of all this freaking block. I thought there was something in my way. I was like, who keeps bumping into me? It wasn't anybody. It was a block of dirt. Just a bunch of dirt in my way. All right. There we 
go. We'll, um, well, I don't know if we really need to even that out or not, because this is going to be up against the wall. It should be a f that should be fine. I can I can work up against the wall. That's no big deal. Okay, so we need to lay out our foundation here. Boop. And then uh, boop. There we go. Keep a constant design. Three. And then. Uh, no, I went sideways there, so I must have done it like this, then like that, instead of the other way around. Same thing here. Boop, two, three is probably what I did. Unlikely. We'll see. One, two, three, four, sideways, up, sideways. Oh, see? I was wrong. I should probably eat some potatoes, get that regen back up and going. Don't want to die. That would be just, just awful. So I'm going to finish up this barn, probably the second barn too, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, back in a second. Okay, and we're back. We have four barns now. Um, I did one other one built just like the cow one. It's The only difference is that I used some smooth stone with it instead of smooth stone bricks to save up on resources because getting a little low. Um, I may replace it later or I may change those ones to smooth stone. I don't know. But that's going to be our pig one. And then this one with the grass will be our sheep. And then the last one should be our chickens. Um, other than that, the uh, all the barns are, are identical structure wise, you know, same layout. And um, anyways, we got to pick up our, uh, our little uh, piggies. So let's, uh, let's go try to separate these fellas. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, as long as that sheep gets out of the way. Okay, I got... Okay, here we go. We just need... Okay, we'll do these two first. As soon as they um, remember what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> Oh wait, no, they, they like carrots. My bad. Bam, what's up? Now you guys are interested. Yeah, that's right. Pigs are so much quicker than cows when walking. This is uh, this is pretty nice. So we're gonna um, coax them in over here. And basically just push them in. Come on up here. Come on up here. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna push you in. Oh no! Did we lose one? We lost one, didn't we? Yeah, he's coming this way. Well, interesting. So it looks like this isn't gonna work for pigs. I guess because they're they're already one uh, one high. Interesting, and I guess cows are too high, two blocks tall, versus the one block of the piggies. Um, that kind of uh, puts a damper to what I was gonna do here. So let's uh let's just rile them up and we'll leave them in there anyways, and um, they could just have fun by themselves. Well, hmm, nah, this isn't gonna work for chickens either. I probably should have tested that, but I just uh I just sort of assumed. So let's get uh two more piggies. Come on, you guys gotta you guys gotta learn how to share. Come on, come on. I'm just gonna back away and maybe... No? You guys are just gonna be really stupid. Oh my god. There you go. No, 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 no. There we go. Well now you're not gonna follow me, you dummy. This sheep is, is really pissing me off. <laughs> He's just trying his hardest to get out of there. Come on. Come on. What about you? Hmm? There you go. You just gotta hit him with the carrot. 
and then they won it. Or not. He was just <laughs> happened to be going in the same direction I was going. Alright, come on, little piggies. Guess it doesn't matter what shoot you're in, but since you're already over here. Come in. Whoop. And boop. There you go. Alright, well, have fun down there. Uh, I gotta figure out a different way of dealing with you fellas. So let's uh, let's get you making little piggies. There you two go. Not bad. Um, I'm gonna have to spend some time, yeah, figuring out how, what kind of farm to deal with those guys. Sheep, however, I know they need grass to um, grow their wool back. So we can't, uh, we can't use, uh, typical means. Uh, the, the same farm is what I meant. So I'm just going to let them free roam because I'm really not going to need a whole lot of wool. Come on. Come on. There you go. Can you get out too? There you go. All right. We got a troop. Got a troop of sheep. What do you call it? I guess it would just be a herd, right? Yeah? A herd of sheep? They need a cool name like Gaggle for geese. Come on. Come on. There you go. All the way to the back. And all right. Um, put up these two gates. You two make a sheep. Little baby sheep. There you go. Little dummy. This big old head and I don't have anything set up for the chickens because I'm not I gotta I gotta test on what type of farm to um, to make for them so in the meantime to finish off this episode why don't we actually uh, get started on making our train station or our cart station whatever you want to call it that's going to connect um, all of our things basically it's gonna connect our mob farm down there it's going to connect our iron golem farm and um, basically anything that's more than about like 50 or 100 blocks away from, from the base. Um, because I don't want to walk everywhere. Because uh, that would just be, well, that'd be boring. So uh, I, I think I'm going to be going with an above ground track. Mainly because it's going to be easier um, to keep mobs off of. And... Um, well, for the most part, as long as I don't get too close to flat ground. So it'll probably be maybe five blocks above ground or so. The rail anyways. And uh, we're just going to have to make it look pretty. Uh, which shouldn't be too hard. I'm probably going to use smooth stone bricks because they're abundant and they look nice. I, I do like the way they look. So let me, uh, let me go sort my stuff out and we'll get to that. All right. After a lovely nap. Um, I picked up some more spruce wood. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'm gonna try to minimize the um, the logs that I use, but figured this pathway up here is probably a good point to put the uh, the station because it's sort of in the middle of nowhere uh, comparatively to the town, and um, it's kind of high up. And uh, that's what I, that's what I'm gonna be looking for. In fact, it's probably gonna be two stories. Um, we'll have the bottom story. Um, filled with just you know miscellaneous stuff and then we'll have the top story that leads out to all the tracks that way it starts at a higher uh, higher level and um, should be pretty simple to do it shouldn't be a very complex um, uh, house or building or whatever you want to call it uh, let's do the rest of those like that Organize that up. I got a couple of tracks here just to kind of get us in the right direction. And then uh, I got a bunch more stone bricks because uh, we're going to be using a lot of those. And um, anyways, yeah, just going to wing the design, you know, mainly, or that's sort of how I do everything. It's just, uh, all right, let's wing it. So I'm going to bring this hill out a bit because, um, I don't know, just seems like the right thing to do because I don't really have a whole lot of room to work on and I'd like it to be on this level. Just so um, it is one block higher and it's one one less thing I have to do. So we're going to bring this out quite a bit. I probably should have left all that dirt that I got from demolishing 
um, the hills and stuff from doing those barns in my inventory. So I'm probably going to have to go back and pick those up. Trying to work with the terrain here. Don't want it to make it, uh, make it look too out of the ordinary. Oh, that's kind of hard to do when you're building foothills and stuff by hand. Everybody sort of has a pattern in their head that they work with or, um, you know, even subconsciously work with. That's why um, building towns and stuff, it, it's nice if you want that nice um, natural looking feel. Uh, I always invite other people to come help me out because you'll fall into a certain rhythm. I always open that chest first. Uh, you'll fall into a rhythm for building things and um, that rhythm will carry over into your designs and stuff and all your builds will look the same. So if you want it to uh, really make your town stand out and look unique, you need to have multiple people come onto the design and work with you. Even if they just do some little things or change a, a little bit of the decorations and stuff like that. It's very nice to have other people's styles uh, in your own build. Same goes for terraforming, is why I bring that up. That's why I try not to um, think about too much of what I'm doing. Obviously, things like that I can't do. Try to turn your brain off while you're terraforming to make it not look so um, cookie cutter. I think that's a pretty good base. Um, I know I'm going to be tearing up some of this to make the floor of the place anyways, but uh, I think that's all right. And uh, I don't think that there's any problem with having this path go directly into the build. Um, because I don't think I'm going to be using this area, and if anything, I can just have this puppy turn that way or something. Put two of those there. Why not? Okay, so let's uh let's get this going so if this is going to be our center which is four blocks wide uh we should make it three blocks wide and then put grass here i'm gonna use my pick to mine out the dirt because it has silk touch do not yell at me for using it i know it's painful to watch but it needs to be done for the sake of putting in grass uh, that can stay gravel. So put in stuff there. See, look at that. I got flint every time I used it. It's it's awful. Okay, so now we have an odd pathway. Fill that back in. Pick up my seeds that I don't need. Still wanted to pick them up though. And uh, get on to our building. Uh, I want two doors. Why not? Make it seem like a, an actual train station. So this will be our two doors right there. And then the rest, let's just, uh, let's just go crazy with it. So we're at four. I want to try to keep it odd though, because uh, a nice roof. Always, uh, always is nice when you do a building. This is probably wide enough. I, I'm saying that mainly because I don't want to keep putting dirt, but another thing is it is, this building is not huge. It's to serve one purpose, and that's to... Um, did I do three on the inside? Sure did. Oh no! So let's bring this land out. There we go. And um, let's use maybe we'll put windows there. Yeah. Mm, maybe two, too tall. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what that looks like uh, after. 
we get a little bit more of this built. And then um, have a three wide pillar there. And some windows on the sides here. So we got a choice of either one wide, like, um, oh shoot, uh, either one there and one there, like that, or we have three, like this. I think three. I think we want bigger windows. God, I love having silk touch. It's so convenient. Oh no. No matter. So let's get some wood up in here. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't go there. So we need to eat. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. I think this is a good use of logs. And then uh, these will just be wood. Windows in the back would probably um, be a good idea. Whoa, I'm all over the place with my panes today. There we go. So now um, let's get a floor in. Oh, this shovel is totally gonna break I gotta I seriously have to remember in between episodes um, to repair the hell out of this because I, I don't mm, mm, I don't want to lose it uh, you know what I'm gonna use smooth half stone Let's do smooth half stone smooth half steps um, I don't have enough on me to make it worthwhile and I could dump some of this stuff while I'm here like that I'll put my spruce in there. There we go. Cobblestone stairs. And um, put a little bit of dirt away again. We'll keep uh, we'll keep a s I don't think I'm actually gonna need any dirt, but I'll keep a stack on me. Alright. Uh two eight go twelve. And that's right, I came for these. 29 should be it. Let's grab another stack just in case. Because um, I'm probably going to want to do the top as well. It's not, a, uh, it's not a block I use enough. I used to use it all the time. Back in the day, I used to use it all the time. And it, I think it makes a great tile. And um, it definitely doesn't get used enough anymore now that smooth stone brick is around. And uh, people sort of forgot about it. I'm sure there's probably still a couple of you, I don't know, that use it in their builds. Oh, man, really burning through this stuff. I'm glad I um, brought this uh, smooth stone. Go. Getting a little dark out. We're gonna have to. Uh, I guess we don't have to work through the night, uh, but I probably am. So let's throw some torches. Maybe on either side. There we go. Um, don't have a place for that just yet. Uh, staircases. Hmm. Probably have. A big staircase here. Mm, ba -ba. I could probably afford to go out another one. Do it spruce instead. Uh, no, I want this as support. I keep. <laughs> Just bear with me, guys. 
All right. Thinking maybe now we could go too wide. We got the room. There we go. And then we'll have staircase leading up. our floor probably like that yeah maybe maybe one more I don't know let's uh, we'll try out this height see where it ends up I'm debating on whether I should do another pillar of these like that because I think that would be too much on the outside anyways you're not gonna be able to really tell the difference on the inside uh, or if I should just go straight to wood I think I'm just gonna go straight to wood whoops didn't mean to put that one there Three, a pillar, three, pillar, ouch, that's fine. It's fine, I live. Little bumps like that, no biggie. And um, these train tracks will be nothing fancy about them. They will be labeled above, and they just be—they'll be straight exits out of the um, the building. No need for fancy redstone or anything of that caliber, which is honestly my favorite types of builds. Just straight and uh, simple. As simple as can be, anyways. They are just minecarts, so they don't get too complicated. But as complicated as you make them, so let's uh, let's make these windows in the back here. I think that'd make for some good windows. Since uh, the stairs are there, we can't really put anything else. We don't have any windows in the back. There we go. And I guess um, putting the top one would have been a smarter choice, seeing as how I'm going to have to cut up the bottom anyways once I figure out where I'm going to be putting things. Um, I'll probably have like stations like this. So we'll have two rails right there. And then um, two rails over here. That way um, they could stay together for a while. Like if I have two rails go straight out this way, then one parts the one way, the other one parts the other way. Um, they can share some of the same redstone torches. Uh, over here, it's kind of tricky. Um, I'm gonna put up some windows first. I guess this could just be one big window, yeah, maybe. Let's uh, let's test out that. Two and two. Oh well, no, that's not bad. A 
and then maybe we'll put uh, panes right here. Yeah, like that. That's not bad. Sort of uh, trying to figure this out in my head. Because I know I'm going to have to put buttons somewhere, yeah? And I think I might just put them on the outside, like right there. And here. And then we'll have like support beams underneath, probably with fences. So let's um, put in two rails like that. Come out here and have our tracks coming out like that. Hmm, this comes down to a window right here, which isn't good. Hmm, because I'd like to have like a block, like a stair, like a stone stairs right there. We'll figure it out. Right now, not so much. I just want to get the general concept down and kind of show you guys what uh, I'll be working on. because I do not want this to be another hour long episode. I know a lot of you seem to like that, but that's definitely not this, uh, definitely not what I'm trying to do uh, with this Let's Play. Shoot. Should have. made more fence posts or made some fence posts rather I know I got a bunch of extras from uh, the farms but that's fine actually six is not gonna be enough ten might be enough I'm putting a fence post here Whoa, there. All right. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Um, well, I guess I could just put the button right here. Yeah, like that. Or even uh, if I put a lever it's going to uh, probably always stay on and I can't I, if I, I can't put a button here well what if I put a button there like that let's uh, let's try out we can use these oh that's, that's beautiful that works great okay that's what we'll do fantastic um, I'm okay with using wood buttons here just because uh, I don't mind them uh, staying on for a long time because I want them to push us out. Now the question is is that if I put a cart here will it know to go that way without a block being behind the track like that? Or maybe I don't have room for pistons underneath. I was gonna say we can have pistons that push a block up after we're in like if we put this as a detector rail put a cart and then sit in it and as soon as we sit in it it pushes up a block and then it could send us away hmm man decisions decisions because if I break that that's that's where we land there I guess I could make the bottom level shorter like I could bring in the walls here because you don't need to see this part build okay well I'm gonna debate <laughs> this design with myself for a while for I don't know at least a day because uh, the next hardcore doesn't come out until Wednesday I know this comes out very late on Monday in fact it's not even Monday anymore if I'm being honest I mean you guys are gonna know anyways after I upload it but it's 1230 on Tuesday 1230 a.m. on a Tuesday but I've I was busy running errands all day it, it doesn't matter the excuses don't matter what does matter is that the content gets out to you guys. Um, I'm thinking as also, for those who remember, uh, Terry and I are doing a Conker's Let's Play on the N64. 
those are probably going to be coming out Sundays. So um, you guys can uh, look forward to that on Sundays. You know what we need? We need stairs. Like here. Whoa, turbo. Whoa, double turbo. Also, I need to get rid of that block. Eh. Too short. There we go. And I'm a stack of, uh, God damn it. <laughs> You know what? I love stairs and I hate stairs and I love stairs and I hate stairs because um, it's fantastic you can put them upside down. It's fantastic that they they um, merge into one and darn it, everything like that. But at the same time, I'm just like, you know what? Stairs they just they still don't cooperate with me because you're trying to place it in a hurry and then they go upside down and stuff. That's actually not so bad. All right, cool. So this is going to be our um, our cart station, train station, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, and that's going to take us to our far away places a little bit quicker, or at least um, a little bit more carefree, which is uh, honestly what I'd want. And uh, the, the tricky thing too is that I'm going to have to try to make the tracks two-way. Eh, it might not be too tricky. What if something like that? No, no that, doesn't, that doesn't look good. What if they're like that? It's a little bit better. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave them up. Think about it so they're not in my inventory. But we may do the piston thing, the piston and detector rail thing there. And um, have blocks here and here that they push up. We'll have to get rid of the windows down below, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, I'll think about the a design. And uh, I'll see you guys next episode, hopefully with a roof above our heads. And hopefully this is uh, around 30 minutes. I'm hoping. Not 30. Under 40, I'll be happy. Okay, gotta go. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you for the next uh, hardcore. What? I don't know. Just we'll just go with that. I'll see you for the next hardcore.